What's up guys, my name is Zachary Lindsay. We're back at it again with another exciting tech video. Welcome to my channel, uh, where I talk about tricking tech and making internet videos, like YouTube videos like what you're watching right now. I upload every Monday and Friday, or at least that's what I'm trying to do right now. You guys know what we're here for, so we're back for this one week Apple Magic Keyboard review. So before we get into the view, please like, f comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, as the kids say nowadays. So And comment so I can like your comment after you like my video so I can like your comment and I can heart you so I can love it and like it Pretty crazy, right? You guys get two likes. I get one like I feel like that's a good ROI return on investment Anyways, so for the first part of this review We're gonna be doing the cons and then we'll be doing the pros at the end because I feel like I'm generally optimistic So if I don't get the cons out first, just, we're just gonna turn all the, co the cons into pros so let's get started. The key, like the thing that was probably the worst of this entire week of like using it is one time I tried to put a timer on using the trackpad and then the, I don't have this recorded, but just believe me. But so I had this one time, I tried to put a timer using the trackpad and then it just, it completely froze my iPad to the point where when you hold the up button and the power button, that's how you turn it off. That didn't do nothing, even when I was holding it for super long. And the only way I could unfreeze it was just like, I had the like once I physically disconnected the keyboard from the the iPad from the keyboard like like this like I physically removed it then then it worked so until then it was just it was like I couldn't do anything I couldn't power it off I like I tried holding the battery the, the buttons down to power it off I tried like using the trackpad I tried touching it. it's like it was unresponsive at all I don't know if that was like a I don't like I don't I really don't know if that was like a me thing or if it's just like it just had like a derpy moment. But like it can like it froze and it was completely unresponsive. Another so con number two is the trackpad. Like I'll show you right now. It's like it has to be super. If it doesn't do that thing where it does this, where it goes and it kind of bubbles on, you have to be super accurate with it. We should probably shouldn't. It doesn't. It works a lot better in um, first party apps, and then like second party apps are a little bit more questionable. But it's like start to, like it's like if it does the bubble thing like this right now, what it's doing. It's very accurate, but then if it doesn't, it's I can I find that I miss more than I'll hit it. Like I have to actually focus hard and be like, okay, go to get it. I don't remember which app I used it in, but it was it was one it was an app where it didn't do it. So I was just like I was just having troubles, bro. It might be YouTube. YouTube YouTube on iPad has been pretty weird if you guys don't haven't noticed. Con number three is like so for reference, I went from using this the pillow pad. As my my iPad stand, it's just if you if you watch the, the unboxing, you know, this is this is this is pretty good. Like this is like I think it was like twenty something dollars, but I mean, fuck, it was worth it. Like with like the versatility of it, it has three different angles. It has this also it has this little pocket to hold my AirPods, which is really fucking useful. And that's like one of the cons of that. Of this, look, no, there's no like look on the GoPro. There's nowhere to hold AirPods. Pillow pad, one. Magic Keyboard Zero, in my opinion, for just the, the pocket. Like, look at that, just, it's just stored. You just like, you never lose it. It's always there, ready for you to just like start going editing or like drawing or something. Like, it's like, if you're an artist, like a, you're into Procreate and stuff, I'd like, realistically, I'd use this more than I'd use like the, the Magic Keyboard. If you're not super into typey typey, the keyboard, this, the pillow pad is probably better than the keyboard if I'm gonna be real. Oh, con number four, very, to this day, I have not found an efficient way to do this, but I mean, I'm tempted on pulling a Casey Neistat and just like putting tape on like the, the backside in between the, here, focus on this, on like in, you know, behind the, the iPad and like on the bottom of the keyboard so I can like open it nicely because it's like, when you have an Apple Pencil, there's like, you don't have much area to grab it on, so you have to like, you can't just like open it like this because you have an Apple Pencil, so you can't just be like, because eh, you have a pencil in the way. So you have to either go from one you have to either go from one corner like this, or why am I doing it this way? Just look, just, we'll just switch the GoPro. So you either have to go from one, this corner, open it, or this corner. And it's like, if you can't do it in the middle, so it's like, it's like, I guess it's kind of designed well where it, there's room for the, the Apple Pencil. It would like, you can connect it and it'll stay connected and it'll be fine. But, but it's like, I feel like Apple I, I mean, I guess maybe they were just like, oh, if you have the magic keyboard, you're more likely to be trackpadding than Apple Penciling. If you have an Apple Pencil, like, I feel like you should be prepared for this. If you have an Apple Pencil and a magic keyboard, you should be able to open it nicely without, like, it's like, it's just, I guess it's just one of the downsides. It's like, you can't, 
you can't have both. You can't have a place to wirelessly charge your Apple, Apple Pencil while also making it so it's like a laptop and easy to open. But I, I'm like straight up. One of these days when I remember my 88, my 88 she stops being fucking irritating. I want to remember to put a fucking piece of tape, piece of tape right behind the iPad so I can just pull it open like that, like like Casey Neistat does for his um his his cameras, like the flippy flip screen, to make it easier for him to do. Could be a pro tip. Put put that in titles. Questionable pro tip. <laughs> this might look weird. My my composition might look kind of off, and that's just because this is where my screen record is gonna go. Oh, I, I, oh, okay. I completely forgot. Just like oh fuck. I'll have to really crop out this screen record so that you guys don't see future, or I mean, I guess, fuck it, you guys can see future ideas, it's not much. It's like, if you guys came to YouTube to read, what are you doing? Anyways, that's con number four. It's really hard to open with the Apple Pencil. Con number five is debatably a con, and it could just be like, there's no demographic that would be interested in it, but con number five for me is there is no way to, the stand doesn't work in portrait mode. Like... Okay, here, hear me out. This this might sound kind of crazy. This might sound freaking pretty crazy. But if you somehow had like a swivel, like on this back part right here, so it's magnets onto there, and then there's just a swivel, and you just turn it so it can go portrait mode. Like here, I'll, 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 let's let's draw. Let's let's just use the Apple pencil and draw it out. Here it is. This is. We'll just we'll dip, this is. This is the Apple keyboard now. And then you got the, the keyboard part right here. Duh, 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 duh. Trackpad. Okay, that's it now. And then, fuck. Let's just trash this. Put up a new one. This, this is what, this is what, I, this is it from the back, okay? So it's top square, then there's that bottom fold, and that's all you see. Fuck, this is really, and so this is a, this is a side view. That's what it is, yeah? So if we... This is what I'm thinking you could do. Is get a circle and then have this. Or I mean, you could still even build it out to like... To have a, a wider base. Just have it only attached by this... Or fuck, we're, we're getting really ugly. Just have it only attached by the circle. Go home. Go away. Okay, so anyways, this is what I'm thinking now. Like, you just have a circle with that's attached to this the magnet part. So it's still magnetically magnetically attached, but it's on this, and this is a this right here is a swivel, so you can swivel. And then, you know what I mean? You just turn it. It's like it wouldn't make. I mean, it'd probably make it more expensive, but. It wouldn't, it would make it way more fucking versatile. Like, think, like, because there's been times where I want to put this in portrait mode. Like, for example, when, like, this is a really weird thing I do. But, I mean, I check out Instagram on my iPad. And look at how weird this looks. Look at how weird this looks. And it's like, there's nothing you can do about it. It's like, Instagram don't want to go sideways no matter what. Weird. So, it's like, that's just, that's just a potential solution to the problem. I'm not saying I'm the smartest engineer here, but I mean, I feel like it would be worth it. Cause like realistically, what is it gonna do? It's not gonna make it anymore. It might make it a little bit more heavy, but it's like, dude, that would be way crazier. Like, cause I feel like there's a lot of people who want to use it in portrait mode, but just they can't cause it doesn't do that. The the just like the multitasking is kind of difficult with the trackpad. Like I don't know how to I don't know how to bring up the dock with the, just the trackpad. Like I have to touch the screen, otherwise it doesn't work. I think there's there's gotta be a gesture, right? Gesture. I don't know what it is. And then, like, this is like, it's kind of, like, you know what I mean? And I don't know how to, it's like, it just, or just touch it. Like, I feel like, look, watch, or, okay, fuck, we're, we're kind of fucking up right now, but I mean, look how much more efficient this could be. It's like, it's way more efficient with touch, but then I guess. That's, I don't know if that's necessarily a con or if that's just something they can improve on. Like, that just seems way faster with touch. Like, it's like, you can tell it's kind of optimized for touch, but, like, it will kind of work with trackpad. So, multitasking with trackpad, kind of difficult, not as efficient as just touching it. So, I mean, if you're, like, someone who really doesn't like a fingerprinty screen and you're kind of just going to treat this as, like, a, like, a laptop replacement, basically, it's very difficult. Like, it's, 
it's like very difficult to multitask with just the trackpad. It's like it's so much more just easy to do it with your fingers. But I mean, they do try to help, like, cause like watch, like you see how it like makes these buttons or like it, it. I guess magnets to like these buttons, and then there are gestures. So I mean, it's got some things, but it's like you can tell that this Mac, like iPad OS, really prefers touch over like trackpad gestures and stuff. I think we're now on the pros. Okay, pro number one. These magnets pretty fucking solid. Like... Like, if you if you try to shake this harder than this by accident, you, you have bigger problems to deal with than, like, my magnets aren't strong enough. Like, the magnets are fucking good. And plus, watch this. Watch how easy this is. It's, I mean, it's like, I'm not good at it because I usually just keep it. I've literally kept it on the stand, like, 90% of the time. But, like... So easy, just sit, and you just take it off, and you just continue doing your iPad-y thing, and you just put it back on, and it's just, it's just there, it's good, it's done. <laughs> Magnets, man, future, high-tech, futuristic, crazy shit, bro. I'm not like, okay, um, pro number two, build quality. Like, this is, this is definitely, this is definitely Apple standards, and it, like, you can feel it, like, trackpad, ooh, whew, whew, I don't know how to, like, like, if I could just, like, go, with, like, if I could just, like, Pull your hand through the camera out here to just feel this. Whoo, whoo! This is like it's some this soft touch. Ooh, that feels so nice too. Like, ooh, they like they really know how to win your heart. It's like it's one of the real estate secrets that like real estate investors like for rental properties say is a really good idea. Is like really upgrade maximum ROI, upgrade things that people touch and feel because it's like that really affects their opinion on the the properties if everything that they touch and feel feels like quality and this feels pretty quality keyboard honestly it does feel better than my 15 inch macbook pro with butterfly switches keyboard like this there is some betterness i need to go to like another thing so i can start typing but one downside is oh i like this is like i completely forgot about this so this is this is gonna be like con six, technically. I'll put this after the final con, or I'll put this before the con. So this is con five now. The other one is con six. One of the downsides is, this could just be for me, because like this is very subjective. It's not very objective, this this opinion right now, but like the keyboard is a little too small for me. It Given this is an 11 inch, so a 12.9 inch might be better, but in the on the 11 inch, it's like, I always accidentally hit the numbers when I'm typing on the top row. So there's that. It's a little like, if you're wondering if, the 11 inch keyboard is a little small. It is. I act like I'm not a master typer. I don't type like this. I, I finger. Tick, 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 tick. So I mean, take that with a grain of salt. I'm not a master typer, but I mean, in my time spent typing on this, I've accidentally hit the number keys when I'm trying to hit the top very frequently. Or like I'll hit the top and I'll hit the number key also. But it only happens during that, which weirdly enough, like I don't do it. I usually don't do it on like the lower keys. It's like only at the top. It's like I. I don't know, I guess it's just muscle memory I'm just missing. Coming back to magnets, man. Plus side, volume and volume and lock screen. I'm not gonna lock it because it's gonna reset my, my screen protect, but like you can tell that I'm pressing the volume and the magnets are holding tight. It ain't even close to falling off. Like, I like that they thought about that. It's like the magnets are strong enough that you don't have to worry, oh, if I press the button too hard, I might accidentally knock my iPad off. Oh no. This is This is somewhere in between. It's like, I would count it as a pro, but it could be a con, is like, this makes it significantly more have like, I guess, it's more substantial, it's like, it's a little, it's, it's less portable, because I mean, the trackpad itself is, ha like, or, I mean, not trackpad, the keyboard, the Magic Keyboard itself does way more than the iPad itself, so, you're more than doubling the weight of your iPad, which I mean, if you're worried about your iPad bending like I am, this thing is super rigid. Like I don't like, there's a little flex, but I mean, that's me trying to bend it. It's like, I don't feel like I need to worry when I put this in a backpack. It's like, I, I'm not worried that it's gonna bend. Cause I feel like this, this bottom keyboard part and then the back plate part is rigid enough that it's like, if it's gonna bend, the iPad would have broke anyways. It can save it to a point, but it's like, once you push it past that point, it's like, there's nothing that can save it. So it's like, I like it for that. Just like that that sense of like, that security, that sense of like, oh, in my backpack sleeve, it's not gonna bend. I don't have to worry about that. Is that worth $300?
I don't know if your iPad your iPad is worth more than three hundred dollars. So it's like if you buy this and it's like it gives you that peace of mind that you're not gonna bend your iPad. I feel like it's, it might be worth it. But then again, you could get another case. But I mean, does your other case have a keyboard? Probably not. Does it have a trackpad? Most, almost, most definitely not. Unless you're getting the Logitech Folio keyboard, then maybe. But I don't, I don't know. If you guys want me to review that, get this a bunch like get this a bunch of likes and views, so that like I can actually afford to buy that also, and then we can compare and contrast but so you do give up portability but you get rigidity which is like ipads are very bendy ipad pros especially are very bendy so i mean you get rigidity and you also like get significantly more product like like your pr productivity efficiency goes drastically up because i can tell you for a fact i typed all these notes on this keyboard and they were probably like at least tw like with a physical keyboard, it's at least twice as fast because you have a tactile response, which is like the keyboard's good enough that you can tell when you hit a button and you know what's happening. You know what I mean? To the point where you almost don't have to look if you're good enough at typing. I'm not, so I still have to glance every once in a while, but I mean, below a slow, actual typer typer person, but I mean, I'm probably on the faster end of a, a tick, 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 like a pecker. Just because I, I do use other fingers, but I mean, I'm, I'm missing a fingertip. I have nine fingertips, so... I don't expect to be the fastest typer. <laughs> if I'm going to be real, I don't ever expect to be the fastest typer. But it significantly improves productivity. Not even just in like typing, but also in like example, for example, like LumaFusion, because it you can use the space bar to hit play. So while you're using your your Apple Pencil, like probably how you see on the GoPro, you can just be scrolling around. But then just to hit play, you okay. just hit this. You just hit the start button and to like delete a clip because it's like when you're cutting in the when you're doing your rough cut you like you do a lot of deleting, so you just instead of having to go over to the trash button you just hit the the delete button and you just start deleting. I don't want to like my my little bit of OCD will will make my brain hurt if I try to <laughs> mess with this. So I'm not I'm not gonna mess with it, but just know spacebar and delete alone drastically improves my my productivity with the uh, Luma Fusion just because I have a trackpad or like I mean I guess it could work with any keyboard, but this connects, so it's like, you know what I mean? It's very, they're very synergistic, I guess. Inverted T for ar for arrow keys. I'm not super opposed to it. It's all right, I guess. It's like, final, like, final conclusion, it's like, this, it, oh, like, it makes it so close to being like a laptop. It's like, it just already just almost feels like a laptop. It's like, if you need something, if you want like an iPad, but like also a laptop, if you don't need like the, even the Pro grades, like the MacBook Pros and stuff, it's like, there's very, f like, with this, it, it just feels like a laptop, basically. Like, I'd say about a third of the time, it's about the same as a laptop. And then the other two thirds, like, it's like, it really just depends if you, do you need a tablet that sometimes does laptop things, or do you need a laptop that sometimes, sometimes does tablet things? Because then it's like, if you need the latter, this isn't for you. But if you need the former, this, like, I feel like it does very well. One last thing. To, oh, fuck. We have another con. I just realized I forgot well, one or I guess one way they could improve it besides the swivelly swivel to go portrait and landscape mode easily is okay look at this this is this is it at maximum downness basically like maximum angle down and then this is it at maximum angled up I feel like I like I mean I understand it probably affects balance drastically it makes it really hard like this is probably like the limit where they feel comfortable with it about its balance but I would prefer for it to lean further back just because it's like if you ever want to like work on it on a laptop or I mean work on it on the, like your lap or something like it's very not angled enough for me but I mean I can kind of tell though when like I have it angled as far back as possible and that's on my lap it's like it does feel like it might start tipping over backwards so they, they that's just the limitation of design I guess like you don't have as much viewing angle ability as something more traditionally laptop like and another th oh another thing that irritates me about this is there's no way of like keeping it like keeping this on and using it in just like tablet mode like you could do it like this like this but this feels dumb to me like i don't know if this feels dumb to you guys but this feels really fucking dumb to me to just hold it like this it's like i really wish this like there's a hard there's like a kind of like a stop right here for it to be like this but then it's like you could you could also just flip into tablet mode and just have the keyboard on the back like the keyboard folio just because I feel like, I don't know, because this is this is what I do when I don't want it, like, tablet, when I just want it in tablet mode, I just take it off, and just leave that around, and then whenever I'm, like, 
ready for it to be back on the stand, I just do that. Because, I mean, it, it's it's not super inconvenient, but it's like, we're getting real nitpicky. I mean, honestly, is it worth it? I'd say it's worth it. Fuck yeah. It adds a charging port to this side, so you can charge it on either side. So it's like, you know how, I don't know if this is a thing that irritates you guys, but like, it kind of irritates me when my when I'm using it and it's charging and I have to wrap it around the device. It's like, that just doesn't feel good to me, like, kind of like messing up your cable like that. But then it is only power. It does only provide power to the laptop or not laptop. See, it's so much like a laptop. I call it a fucking laptop. It does provide power to the tablet, iPad only. So there's no data transfer. So you can't like plug in a dongle. So you are still dongle life, but I mean, it's kind of even dumber for an iPad because you're your dongle life, but your dongle life hanging in the sky. Whereas like on MacBook, your dongle life, but you're, you're at least like dongle life on the table. It's a little bit dumber of a dongle life. Okay, you can't even tell me you'd want, uh, you'd want data transfer rather than have just like this easy ass way of connecting and disconnecting. It's like, if you had, if you had data transfer, you would probably have to plug it anyway. So then you get rid of the port anyways. So, I mean, it's a, it's a trade off. I, I honestly prefer the way it is right now where it's like, I can just power that in, plug that power in, and then I can just plug in a dongle. I'm kind of tired. I, I just came back from the beach. We've been at the beach for like eight hours or something stupid like that. So if I'm really tired and I seem exhausted, you know why. It's just it's also I might look kind of roasted. So that's probably why I just toy sun is not to be messed with. Anyways, in conclusion, is this worth it? I'd say yes. I would buy it again if I didn't own it after absorbing all this experience I have now with it. I'd say, yeah, like well, ideally though, I want something between the pillow pad and that where it's like, this is, like, I feel like this goes further back than that. So it's more useful. Also finding a way to put like a, I mean, I guess that'd make it look a little ghetto, but I mean, finding a way to also attach your AirPods to it. We'll, we'll go to this part. Okay. How, what I think Apple could do to improve this magic keyboard, make swivel so you can use portrait mode also while still being attached to this. I feel like it's not that hard guys. It would add weight to make it more. It would add weight so it could be, I don't know, like, so you could probably angle it further back while it's still keeping a balance. Oh, another thing, you could add, you could add a battery into the bottom of the keyboard so you actually improve the battery life of the iPad, which I mean, right now it isn't that bad. I'd say I'm getting like between like eight to 10 hours, depending on if I'm gaming or not. If I'm gaming, less than, less than, like towards, more towards the seven hours mark. But if I'm just, even just video editing, I'd say I get like eight hours easy. Could get straight eight hours of video editing. But I mean, if you had a battery and this thing lasts like fucking a day, would that not be crazy? And you'd add more weight. I mean, it's already heavier than the iPad. So it's like, what would a little bit of weight do? Just better battery life? That'd be even better. Add more weight in here. It's more balanced. So your viewing angle can go further back without it falling over. Get like, get it on like a swivel. Like how the, how the, the, what's it called? I don't know what it's called. It's like the Mac, how the Mac Pro displays are. The Mac, I think that's what it actually is called, right? The, the Pro Display, XDR. How those can just... Do and then pivot to go just put that exact same like hinging mechanism into this it'd be fucking crazy right it'd be, this would be way fucking cooler and if you put battery in the bottom part so it's got like a longer battery life so you uh, like make the weight distribution better so you can have better viewing angles also and then i don't know how this is like legit do what like i like legit i don't i don't have an answer for you but it's just a want i have you know what i mean whereas other ones it's like dude you there's a way you could do this better that one's like, this one, I don't know. It's like somehow find a way to attach your, your AirPods to this. It may seem kind of dumb. It may seem like it's, it's, it might only be a me want if I'm being realistic. Like, I don't feel like other people want this, but I mean, I want it. I feel like I lose my AirPods all the fucking time. Just, just have it attached to your fucking, have it attached to your iPad. That's way fucking better. And then, then like final thing, somehow find a way, like if you make the, the bottom thicker, it'd probably be easier to open the, open the keyboard with their open the, oh it stopped recording open the keyboard without with your apple pencil still attached that's like the final thing is like so it's like like four tips you could improve and it's make this would make it so much better if you charge like four hundred dollars for this but it had all those things i might buy it i'm not even gonna fucking lie i might fucking buy it still i mean i don't know what i do with this one but i mean that that would just literally solve all of my problems with it basically anyways i really gotta get to editing this shit so i mean shoots guys like, favorite, and subscribe if you're not already. Also, comment down below so I can like you guys back and love you guys. And share it, I guess. I don't know. Let's get let's get some things happening. So 
I can actually have a job again. Here, let's let's shout out this person. I got a comment on my last video. We're gonna shout that out because that's the, literally the only comment. Let's go. Let's go check this out. I mean, I do get spam comments from other people, but like, check this out. Someone actually commented. Met K Taylor. We'll just. I'll I'll take this from the screen recording and just like, put it on over here. Shout out to you, commenting on the, the G4 Pro one month review. I already replied to the the thing, but if you guys, if anyone else has any questions about it and they, they didn't read the comment, I on my battery model it does say it's a G3 Pro battery, and she was saying she's not getting as much battery life as they're saying you should be getting, and my response was I'm pretty sure it's just because the the way they do their battery life rating is to try to be as favorable towards a longer battery life than like being more realistic about their use case. So they probably have it on the lowest speed and they're probably barely using it. Like like they're barely making contact with like this whatever they're using it on to try and get maximum battery life. Cause I know for a fact I'm probably getting 45 minutes, but I do do at a top speed with like two to three, with like 50% amount of like maximum pressure applied. Also shout out to Kpo Jensen on my Apple iPad Pro 2018 one week review worth it in 2020. Shout out to you Kpo Jensen, please start a YouTube channel. I mean, you do have a YouTube channel, but please, like, just start, just start posting. It's like that guy, it's like Sean Cannell says, you have to put out your first 35 videos before you can even expect to get anything in return, because it's like, you have to suck before you can be good at anything, right?